All right, guys, so we have the little baby 12 gauge out again. The Mossberg 940 Pro, changing up chokes, changing up loads. We're gonna see what this thing can do. All right, guys, so this is the Mossberg 940 Pro. As you can see here, this is the 18 and a half inch barrel. Uh, this thing is stupid com compact. It really feels like you got uh, a 28 gauge or a 20 gauge and the weight is nice. I mean, it, it's a really nice gun, but what we care about is what we're gonna do on paper. The first thing we're gonna do, we haven't shot these in a while. Uh, we have the Apex GT3. This is a three inch, two and a quarter ounce of straight nines going 1190 feet per second. So we're gonna shoot those but today we're gonna to change it up a little bit. We have two offerings from Rectifier for this Mossberg. We have a 655 and a 665. So we're gonna see how these two do with these straight nines and that, that shorter barrel at 40 yards. Now for this, we are gonna start doing a bunch of different ranges and all that stuff too, but on these comparison videos, I really just wanna see them side by side and then we can go from there. But we will have the new style with the BCO 12 inch circle and uh, I'm sure you've seen some tests by now of the new style. That's how we're going to do it so you can get a really good measurement of which one of these chokes like this load and that gun better. So we'll start with the 655. Alright, so we got the 655 in. We got our Ear Pro in today. I forgot it last pattern test so I'm not going to forget it again. If you're going to shoot your guns, wear your Ear Pro. So once again, we have the Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey. We have the Rectifier 655 in, and we're shooting the old Apex GT3. It's two and a quarter ounce straight nines at 40 yards to the tip of the choke. So let's see what this thing does. Yeah, you're low, low left. Very low. We're on paper though. Yeah. All right, so same load, same gun. Now we have the Rectifier 665. Now we did qu quick, uh, well, we did a quick zero with this gun with lead loads in close. It looks like we're a little low left, maybe with a uh, TSS load. So I'm gonna hold a touch high right and see, but when you change choke constrictions you can get a different point of impact so I'm not gonna hold too much different so here we go you're good yep that one shot yeah that one's pretty that, much centered I was holding I was holding a on his beak so that one was almost true yeah. now it's time to get the BCO 12 out find the core mark them you guys know the drill. Let's get to it. All right, 15 years later, we have marked the entire pattern on both of these. My wrist is, there's arthritis. I can feel it. It's literally screaming. These new tests are going to suck for us, but you love them. So anyways, we shot the Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey with both rectifiers, the 655 and 665. Didn't have a 660, which he figured would be the best with his choke in that short barrel. Uh, but we shot him with Apex, the old faithful GT3. It's straight nines, two and a quarter, ton of pellets. Trust me, we know we just marked absolutely all of them. So let's look at the 655 first. Now, the new style test, you can see here we have the BCO12, which I do think we could have moved it over a little bit got rid of these and picked up all that but i'm not really like you guys know we don't care about the pellet count we just want to give you a true reference and we're still going to show you the full pattern i don't know why people don't do that because you look at this right here looks outstanding right but look at this you, your flyers matter your whole pattern matters period because you can have a screaming tight core and then have a ton of flyers all the way through. You think you're good, you pull the trigger and you shoot two birds. Do what needs to be done and show the whole pattern. That's why we do it every test. I mean, you can see how many Sharpie hits are in just this video alone. I mean, we got a ton we're filming today as well, so it's gonna be a ton. But 
looking in the 12 for a 12 gauge, I mean, you get what you expect. A ton of pellets in the 12. You do have a couple minute little voids. And like I said, if you're a true pellet counter, you probably would have shifted over because then you would have had all these on in there as well. But to us, we're just circling based on a quick look. You can see just how much is just outside that 12 and then just outside of that. This one did pretty good. I mean, you only got a couple flyers and that's a ton of shot in a 12 gauge TSS load. A ton of shot. So to get this, this is outstanding to me because I don't shoot to 40. You'd have no problem pushing this past 40 as you kind of would expect with TSS and his 12 gauge. But in close, you're going to have all this leeway that is going to help you out. So that's pretty awesome. But how did the 665 do? Same, same gun, same load. And this one is the perfect test to what I was just saying. If Moose just shows you this right here, this circle like a circle <laughs> if moose just shows you this core you'd think you'd have a good setup right well you do have a couple voids you have a great core now if you would just zoom out for them you see just how open this pattern is all the way around this palette now if you just show this you'd think you'd have a good setup but you don't this is not a good pattern test you have a ton of flyers out here I mean, you got flyers all the way up there. I didn't even see those till just now. And I mean, yes, you got a bunch right around that 12 inch circle, but guys, you can't just look at your core. You cannot just focus on that. You have to take in part the whole full pattern. And it's pretty clear to see here, at least in that 940 with the short barrel, this 60, wow, 65, that's tight. This 665, I think, is just a touch too open, which is kind of funny because the stock choke for that gun's a 670 and pattern's better, but it's just how it goes. That 655 from Rectifier, that is a, a pretty good pattern for a 12 gauge now that we marked all 10 billion pellets. But you can see these side by side, and it just shows you why you have to show that whole pattern. And, and it, if you're filming pattern tests, you, you owe it to the viewer to be able to show all that so they can see that because it's very, very important. Now, in this test, in that gun with this load, the 655, I think did a lot better. What do you think, Moose? If I were to take one, yeah. Yeah, well, that's... I I still think that could be better than that. It reduce all those flyers. That yeah, are. I agree. But in this test... I would take that over oh, this yeah. all day long. Yeah. And this just shows you, you got to focus on more than just your core. But now Moose will zoom in on the 12 inch circle on the 655. Wow. Yeah, that's right. That just sounded wrong. Now Moose will zoom in and lock it down on the 12 inch circle for the 655 rectifier. This way, if you guys want to count pellets and be someone's hero today, you can. If you would like, just take a screenshot of it. Put it in your photos, edit, draw your sections, count it, put it in the comments. I guarantee you somebody will thank you. I'm kind of curious to see who will get it first and how many people. I want to see different counts, though. I know it's going to happen. <laughs> I see fui. Want to know what the three are? Voids. That's what I care about. Now, Moose will block down on the 665. It just sounds weird saying 12-gauge constrictions. It sounds so open. But so same thing, if you'd like to check that one out, you're more than welcome. And uh, so you can see here, a gun's going to like different things. You got to figure out what the true constriction range of your gun that yields you patterns that you would hunt. Also, let us know which one you liked better. I have a great idea which one it's going to be in this case. But drop them in the comments. Let us know. If you have a Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey, let me know which gun you have because I know they have different options. This is the compact 18 and a half inch barrel. And so far in our testing, it does exactly what you would expect with TSS. So all the people that say the barrel's way too short, y'all are fools. You should just watch the test before you run your mouse. I'm just saying. I was curious about it, but I do think that 660 in that gun 
is going to be kind of the ticket. But after seeing the 655, that's got potential too. We got a ton of different chokes to put in it. We got a ton of different loads to do with it. We got a lot of shit to do. That's all there is to it. And let us know which color you like for the outside for the full. If you like the blue, if you like the green. I think either of these options look really good. It's very easy to see them. The green looks a little harder to see to me, but. I'm just worried about the blue translated on the camera. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try a different color. Next time. Me too. I'm going with yellow or orange. No, not yellow. Yellow and red. What's yellow and red make? Green? <laughs> so drop a comments below. We're going to tinker with the colors on the outside. Because like I always say, we want to give you the tests that give you everything you need to know. It's not about pellet count in the tent. It's about knowing your full pattern. How many flyers. What you will have for an ethical shot. Because this one... You got to be very conscious about what you have for shot opportunities. Same with that one. And really, in my opinion, same with every shot. We owe it to the birds that we love to give them every chance they got and respect them. So, guys, as always, put your comments below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let us know if you like the new style testing. My hands hate it. I'm going to start learning to sharpie left-handed. So when my right hand locks up, I can have a left hand. Because that's a lot of freaking pellets, and that's going to be a lot of pellets a day. But we got some cool tests Moose and I are filming today. Members will see it pretty quick here. Uh, if you want to check that out, link in the description. There's like 30-some videos right now available for members. And that's before we film today. So, guys, as always, Jake Sleeves and Blue Collar Outdoors. Pick up some merch. Drop comments. Share videos. Like. Subscribe. Membership if you'd like to. As always, keep pushing us in the turkey groups because no one can tell you what your perfect setup is, only yourself. So check out our videos for reference. Find your perfect setup, and when you do, let us know because we love hearing about it. We'll catch you on the next one. Ta-da! All shots matter. <laughs>